It is allergy season here in Houston, Texas, stuffy nose, but it is also casting day. Uh, before we're actually jumping into the main bulk of the casting, we're actually going to have kind of a kind of janky, I would call it, read-through with uh, Jason Berkey. Uh, so the last time we talked about it, uh, Jason was just like, maybe just kind of a pipe dream. I was like, hey, reached out to him, sent the script, who knows how he's going to respond. Well, part two of that story, he responded very, very well to the script. Uh, he enjoyed what he saw in it and has decided to kind of just continue to move forwards with us. Um, ink has not hit the paper quite yet, so again, I might not release any of these videos <laughs> about Jason. Um, but presently, we are actually just going to have, again, kind of a, a pseudo read-through. Um, he's the only actor that we are anywhere close to casting, uh, but nonetheless, just because he didn't audition for the part, um, I'd love for him and I'd love for me to actually just be able to hear him perform the role a little bit. Uh, so it's not really an audition, uh, but it's also not really a read-through. So more than anything, we're just going to take the time to sit down, me and a couple of my other actor friends, to, uh, to read the script together. Uh, the other kind of awkward component is the fact that it will be over Skype for him, which again is an ideal when it comes to um, working with actors. For me anyways, it's all about connection. Um, it's about a connection between me and the actor. It's about a connection between the actors and each other. And that can just be made all the more difficult when you are talking over Skype. Nonetheless, at least being able to see his face will be very, very helpful. Uh, so really looking forward to this. Kind of what we're planning on doing is we're kind of going to be breaking down the, the script kind of into four different sections. Uh, and so instead of doing a whole kind of read through like you normally would when you actually have every single cast member cast, uh, we're going to kind of just break it down into four different sections. And my plan is anyways, we'll see how it works. I'll report back after we've done it. But my plan is, is to after each section, just pause and say like, hey, how is that for you? How did that feel? Did that feel believable? Did that feel truthful? Um, are we are we telling up the right ideas and the right emotions as we're moving forwards in this? And then maybe just I'll you know I'll ask for one minor adjustment just to see how we can take that and to see how um, I can again best serve him as a director. Again, I, I'm, I'm trying to treat this less as a test and more of let's just take some first little baby steps in figuring out this relationship, figuring out this dynamic between you and I as actor and director because ultimately. When it comes to a relationship between an actor and a director, the really successful ones, most of the time, are really based on trust. Uh, I trust him, or I trust her, and he or she trusts me back. Um, in a lot of ways, actors are being rather brave, putting themselves out there. Uh, even if they're just playing a really kind of straightforward, simple part, they're still being vulnerable in some, in, to some degree. And, and ultimately, it's, it's me as a director that has to go, this is working, this is good, you don't look like a fool, and, and they have to trust that. So ultimately, the more conversations that Jason and I can have, the more times that we can try things together, that we can play, that we can experiment, uh, that we can be free, that we can have fun, the, the, the more that that trust will develop. So here's hoping for a, a good time reading with Jason Berkey this morning. <laughs> 